Right folks, I've just got off the bus. It was late because there's a lot of traffic on the road. Glastonbury this week, first day of opening, official opening. A lot of ch all the trains have been, there are trains today I believe, but um, probably not a normal, they're not going to be normal, even if they, if they are open today. So a lot more people have been taking their cars to Glastonbury. Um, so I reckon the bus from Weston to Wells today would have been packed with people and every other bus going that way. But on the way back I'll be alright. Anyways, I'm, I'm probably about a little bit, a quarter of an hour the most off my target if I'd got the 9 o'clock 126. Even the 126s are now running late because of the traffic at Banwell is horrendous, uh, that nine o'clock session. But this is a pretty little country lane. I'm leading up to the A38 though. But here's a lovely farmhouse here. And look at these lovely wildflowers and grasses, look, and daisies. It's a lovely little pretty little walk I've had along here. And um, I'll be crossing over the road in a minute. And then only for a short walk and then I'll be up in the hills away from the traffic. Here it is. I'm just vi I'm videoing a bit of it because when you're on a walk, it's not all about pretty country lanes. You have to face this sort of thing. But over there, look, you can see this. Part of Robera Warren starting, Dolbury Warren. The hill fort is beyond that. This is called New Road. And this is Skinner's Lane. I should have just walked through where I got off the bus. I save a good hour and a, a good hour, a very good hour coming this way. But when I say I save a good hour, what I mean is I don't actually save it in time. I save it in walking. I save it in walking. Lovely fields there, look at that lovely meadow. And this is the A38 roaring behind me. I've just got a couple hundred yards to go um, before I turn off. There's a lovely little flower there, look. See? Yeah, I haven't got far to go. It was probably about equal. Oh, look at that one there. I've just got to turn off and take a picture of this flower for a minute. The last time I was over here, I used both the Sony and this camera. Unfortunately, I thought I'd saved, even though I'd gone through it, I thought I'd saved the card. So what happened was I raced it by accident. So all my stuff from the quarry, which I did all with Kodak, didn't come out. Um, that's the first time I think I've ever done that, by the way. Um, it was my own mistake because I always write stuff down in the book as I'm doing it and I hadn't put anything in the book. I just assumed that. Anyway, I'm walking along. I'm going to be doing a similar route as what I did a couple months ago where I found that lovely track and um, 
I found a lovely track. For the first time, when it was bluebell time. So I'd done it twice, that particular track. I went up and down it, but I didn't always come back this way. I did a circular in Robert Warren and came out by Tynion's Farm. Uh, so today I'm doing partly the same, partly the same route. Lovely old Britain walls there, look. I just came in. Partly the same route. But some slight variations. Now, of course, I am a, um, about the same time, like I said, the same time, just that I got a different bus and got off at a different stop, meaning I didn't have to walk from Sanford past the quarry or through the quarry and all the way past the Churchill skiing place. I didn't have to do that. So it wasn't about time. It was mainly about saving energy. Right, over and out. I'm going to take a picture here. Lots of short videos. Right then, just spoke to two ladies, both with dogs, having a little walk, enjoying the sunshine. Just a brief talk, chat, talking about ticks and Lyme disease like you do when you're out in these places. Um, yeah, I'm just taking my time. Trying to remember to hold the camera a bit steadier, Sheila. I'm quite pleased with this camera in lots of ways. I've still got to get used to the macro function. I haven't got that properly sorted yet. I can practice at home with the objects. Um, the video's all right, but it's holding the camera still. It actually comes all right, the video, if you stop still and everything, is quite good. So anyway, I haven't been pointing out features, but that's Dol Dolbury and Roborough Hill Fort up there. And we're skirting the base of it. Not going up. I went up it the other month. I don't even know if I shared that video about me on the hill for. I don't know. And I haven't been very impressed with my own abilities to keep this camera still. But it is a still camera, so it shouldn't even be moving. I have to keep reminding myself that it's my fault. But I've got a capture for posterity. The camera I want is going to cost me a thousand pounds. There is one for about eight hundred. This is a lovely little meadow area. The stream very, very hardly, it's just trickling. Hardly, whereas when I came in the winter it was not roaring, but it was fast. Right, this is a junction point. A lot of the time I go that way, past the Pink Cottage, and into Robert Warren near a larger active stream. That's where I go a lot. A woman's just been bitten by a horse fly, so I've got to be wary of that. Um, there's lots of flies about because of the horses. I don't feel too bad after a massive hike the other day. Plus I did a three hour walk, including the wood yesterday. So I'm gonna stop in a minute. I just wanna do, I can never stop, you know. It's a lovely wood, isn't it? It's almost, this, you can almost see like a little bit of water mist rising there. Well, I've got to take my, um, right, I'm going to turn off at this point, take some photos and then come back on in a minute. At an important junction, a bit further up, where I go up, I go up, okay? So over and out for now. <laughs> 